In this section, we'll describe two broad purposes of research and uh, then four more detailed goals of research. Two broad purposes of research are information gathering and theory testing and building. Many applications of surveys uh, are not research orientated but rather gathering information in specific and local contexts such as um, a workplace assessing uh, worker satisfaction. The goal there is simply to learn about uh, that particular workplace, not necessarily to test theory uh, and to publish those results widely. So um, local opinion gathering, polls or attitude surveys um, might fall into that category. When we think about survey-based research, we're really talking about testing of theory and ideas uh, and principles that, if proven out, may well be applicable in broader contexts, and we would like to share the data with the um, scientific community. We can break these two uh, broad purposes down into four uh, specific goals, um, but some examples of information gathering may well be polls, census type data, uh, customer satisfaction surveys and attitude surveys. And in the case of theory testing, we might be talking about uh, testing something like personality or social psychology theories. And while we can draw those distinctions, it's also true that often surveys do a bit of information gathering and also some theory testing. So the four goals that we might talk about are uh, exploratory, descriptive, explanatory and predictive goals. And they are in order here from the kinds of goals we might have early on in a research endeavour, which is to explore and find out, uh, then possibly to describe the phenomenon, to explain why uh, things are occurring, and then eventually when our theory is mature enough to build uh, or develop some predictive models about what would probably happen in future on the basis of uh, this theory. So uh, an exploratory goal is where we're very early on in the process of finding out about a particular phenomenon. And the idea is simply to go out and explore and find out as much as possible uh, to seek out and to identify um, what, what might be going on. So for example, let's say we knew very little about what had happened in the last six years to psychologically to survivors of the Indian ocean tsunami in 2004, we might send in a team of people uh, from a non-government organisation perhaps to talk to people and find out and, and get some basic data about what kind of psychological issues they may or may not still be experiencing. On the basis of that information we may then decide to go on and do a more detailed descriptive study. Um, so some other examples here is where we're, we're more targeted in, in going in, we're seeking very sp more specific sorts of information um, about a, a particular sample group. So a marketing company may wish to develop uh, a descriptive consumer profile for the set of people who may be interested in their product or who have already brought, bought similar products uh, and that may describe their age, gender, uh, type of job, um, amount of income, where they live, etc. Uh, a union may wish to go into a particular industry or a particular workplace and try and, and use a survey to gather uh, information about hours, pay, uh, conditions uh, and people's attitudes towards the uh, employer. In explanatory research, we want to go beyond simply gathering the information and we're really gathering the data to help us um, make an analysis of the validity of a particular theory or theories. So we're looking here for relationships between variables or differences between groups uh, and an example of that may be the uh, debate or the question about whether extroverts are happier than introverts and why or why that may not be the case. And if we gather data around that 
question, we would be doing some theory testing and possibly theory building. And finally, um, if we've done a good job of our theory testing, we may then be able to test out some predictive models um, whereby the data that we seek will help to inform us about whether we can make predictions about future occurrences of um, certain feelings or behaviours. So the question of does a couple's length of time together prior to having children predict uh, their relationship satisfaction after having children, if we found that that uh, was a predictive relationship which was true, then that may well influence uh, relationship counselling, uh, even possibly uh, law and policy about how uh, we go about um, guiding relationships for uh, for human well-being. So let's now apply uh, these four research goals to three different um, research scenarios. Uh, so quiz question four, what is the goal of this study? A researcher lives for a time in a religious commune in order to learn about the social psychological characteristics of cults. Now, do you think that's an exploratory, descriptive, explanatory, or predictive study? Well, it's probably exploratory because the researcher seems to be going to live in order to learn about um, a relatively unknown phenomenon, which is this particular religious commune, and then how uh, they may exhibit some of the characteristics of, of cults. So it's uh, reasonably open-ended and... Um, not unlike the tsunami example. Uh, quiz question five. What's the goal of this study? A researcher surveys community attitudes to eating non-traditional meat. We saw this example er earlier. Um, the researcher seems to be looking for community attitudes. They're not really testing a theory, um, but they do have a fairly precise objective here. So it's probably a descriptive study. They're trying to describe community attitudes. Are they positive, negative uh, towards non-traditional meat? Perhaps there's differences in the attitudes towards different types of meat. Quiz question six. What is the goal of this study? A researcher surveys student attitudes towards attending classes and also measures the big five personality variables. Well, the implication here is that the person wants to look for a relationship between personality and um, attitudes towards attending classes. So we're probably in the realm of explanatory research, where the researcher is trying to use personality to explain uh, class uh, attendance. If um, there was more information here, then this could become a predictive study. Uh, for example, if the researcher's motivation was to try to reduce student attrition by um, advising them uh, about how to handle university and um, study on the basis of their personality characteristics, that may be in the realms of um, predictive uh, uh, goals for, for a survey study.